placings are now complete in our age cow class. At this time, I'd like to announce our second place junior, if she would please take a step forward. She is entry 2150, Miami Hills Agenda Daisy, exhibited by Laura Fry of Logansport, Indiana. And the winning junior entry is entry 2166. She's also the production award winner for the junior category. Culp Gen Legacy Tiara ET, exhibited by Megan Culp of Mannheim, Pennsylvania. Tiara had at six years, two months, 305 days, 30,172 pounds of milk, 1,489 pounds of fat, and 1,044 pounds of protein. Third place in the class goes to entry 2162, West Hope Zoo Sydney ET, exhibited by Lucas Ayers of Mechanicsburg, Ohio. I'd also at this time like to introduce our production award winner. She is entry 2155, Top Acres Express Tahiti ET. She had at five years even, 305 days, 58,000 pounds, of, excuse me, 58,206 pounds of milk with 2,383 pounds of fat and 2,187 pounds of protein. She is exhibited by Bradner Farms of Abbotsford, British Columbia. Congratulations. And now our second place in bred and owned animal in the class. She is entry 2165 Pit Crew Legacy Tory ET, exhibited by Pit Crew Genetics of Cambridge, Minnesota. And ladies and gentlemen, your winning entry in the best utter in the class, entry 2157, Ellock Wager Candid, exhibited by Ken Main and Peter Vale of Copake, New York. Congratulations. Judge Top, your reasons. Another amazing class. You got cows that age from six years to 13 years in this class. Cows uh, fresh all stages. But the cow that the comes to the top of the class, I think she just walks away with it. She's a cow. She's sharp. She's dairy. She's angular. And just an incredible memory system as well. You love the veination on this fore udder. You get behind her, she's got plenty of height and width to the rear udder. But she's a cow that just uh, is epitome of dairiness all the way through. You love the strength that she has through the front end as well. But also a cow that walks on a tremendous set of feet and legs. Cow coming out in second is a cow that's been fresh a little bit longer, but I think she kind of follows her pattern. She's just with that correctness. She's holds herself to get a little nicer on that top line today. She also is my second best stutter cow in the class. A cow that you maybe not as sharp and dairy as her first place cow, but she follows with that correctness of feet and legs and memory system to uh, fall in that second spot. Second over third is on that strength across the loin today over the real dairy cow coming in, out in third. You admire this third place cow. She's sharp, she's dairy, she's angular, and a cow that wears a lovely memory system as well. Just maybe not to, not to height and width of the top of the rear that our first two cows have. But she has that sharpness and dariness, the angularity, a little more fuller at the top of the rear rudder today. I'm giving her advantage a little more quality mammary system over the real silky cow coming out in fourth. You admire this fourth place cow, a lovely frame cow. Just maybe not the mammary to get any higher in the class, but she does have that advantage in uphill run. A little more dariness, a little stronger in her top line today, a little more strength, a little more drop to her rib. The cow coming out in fifth has been milking 16 months. The cow that wears a lovely mammary system as well. You love the high wide rear rudder attachment that she has. You got the snugness of four rudder attachment. And I moved her in front of the cow coming out in sixth on that sharpness and dariness, the angularity. When she gets her in line, she's so much more cleaner in the hooks and pins today than the recently fresh cow coming out in six. Six over seventh, I'm giving an advantage. Just a little more dariness, a little more cleanliness all the way through. Then the cow coming out in seventh. You admire the seventh place cow, big frame cow. Just likes to strengthen her up in the loin. The cow also has been milking 16 months, losing the quality of the rear udder today and her seam today, but a nice cow. Now that cow coming out in eighth is another beautiful side profile cow. When she gets in line, she don't have the height and width of the top of the rear to get her any higher in the class, but a beautiful group of cows here in our age cow class.